Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a very quick haul to share with you today. This is from The Child's Dream and this is really special because the materials that I'm gonna share with you today are actually for a very special collaboration. I'm gonna tell you all about it in just one second. This is the most beautiful assortment of felt. This is 100% wool felt. This is the Holland felt. And this pack is called Winter's Cape. This is perfect for the winter time and I am gonna show you some of the projects that I'm gonna do with this. I am really, really excited about this. But let me show you the rest of the stuff that I got. This was all sent to me by a child's dream. I am a huge fan of all of the stuff that Debbie over at A Child's Dream carries. And usually we purchase our own things, but this time this was sent to me by her for a very special collaboration. We are doing a peg doll collaboration right here on YouTube. If you wanna know more about that or if you wanna participate, please let me know down in the comment section below. I wanna show you the peg dolls that we got. Now, usually I was a big fan of the finger puppets and I used them for many years and only recently in the past two years or so did I get into working with peg dolls. So these are the large peg dolls and you can see that they are flat here at the bottom and they have kind of a cylindrical uh, shape with of course the head. I want to show you the difference between the peg dolls and the finger puppets. Now for about Gosh, over 10 years, these are the dolls that I worked with almost exclusively when I was making these for my children. It has a place for your finger, and it also has a more tapered look to the to the base of the finger puppet, and then of course it has the head here. So I just wanna compare the two sizes for you really quickly. You can see that the peg doll, the large peg doll, is smaller and the finger puppet is larger. Now these peg dolls you can find at a lot of retailers, but the finger puppet bases are a lot harder to find, and I like the shape of the finger puppet a little bit better than the peg doll itself. I like the way that the neck tapers in over here versus this one right here. I mean, once you decorate them or put felt on them or paint them, it's all fine. I wanna show you the smaller ones as well. These ones are the small peg dolls and you can see that they're quite a bit smaller compared to the large ones, smaller diameter. These ones are super cute and precious. And then the last ones that I got are adorable. These are called the Bunteen Babies and they are smaller than the small peg doll and then quite a bit smaller from the large one compared to the large one. And then let me just show you compared to the finger puppet base. So really tiny. These are super cute, really easy to work with if you keep it simple, and I really like them. One thing that I want to point out is the way the wood grain is. Now, you can kind of see on the front here that there's like a circular pattern here from the wood. And when I'm making mine, I try to keep that circular part as the face rather than, you know, doing it on this side, for instance. It just kind of looks better. Even if I'm doing a faceless peg doll, like where I'm not going to put eyes in a face. And usually I don't put eyes in a mouth, especially with the finger puppets. I almost never do that. But I do try to still keep the front of the peg doll and the finger puppet where this circular part of the wood grain is. All right, so uh, I've got four different sizes. I am really excited about this collaboration. It's going to be uh, kind of like a bit of a challenge for me because I am going to restrict what I am doing with, to just these peg dolls and this beautiful felt. I'm going to have a little bit of yarn from my own stash for the hair and I'm going to use a variety of my own paints if I'm going to paint. I'm not actually sure but I want to really quickly show you the beautiful colors that come in Winter's Cape. So at A Child's Dream there are, you can buy the felt individually like this or you can buy them in sets like this. And so far we have the spring set, the fall set, 
no, we have the summer set and the fall set. And now we have the winter uh, assortment. I really am excited to show you this one because I found that it was a little bit hard to see these colors online. And so I'm really happy to show them to you. This blue here is gorgeous. It's a nice, deep, almost like a midnight blue color. Then you get three different varieties of gray. Now, in the past, I didn't use gray very much with my finger puppets and my peg dolls, but last year I did a set of winter-inspired finger puppets and I use gray with a little bit of mint green and I loved the way they turned out. It was just really a nice beautiful combination and the grays are so beautiful and rich. So you get this first gray looks a little bit like a blue gray. This one just looks like a solid gray, neutral gray, and this one looks like a gray with a little bit of baby blue. Then you get this nice taupe color and a white and black and this creamy white and then this peachy cream kind of color. And then you get a couple of browns here. Actually, you get quite a few browns. A light brown, a medium brown, a rich brown, a dark brown, <laughs> and then this beautiful kind of uh, mustardy color. It's, it's uh, mustard with just a hint of green in it, but it's still just a mustardy brown color. So that's what you get when you order Winter's Cape. It's a really beautiful assortment of pre-selected felt. You could always buy the felt individually if you wanted to, but I have really enjoyed getting these as collections. All right, so stay tuned for projects that I'm going to be making using these products. All the information on where you can find this is down in the description box below. I'm so excited about this. Oh, and this felt is amazing. It feels so good. This is, I can't remember the thickness on this one, but it feels really nice and it wears really well, like it ages really well. Like all of the projects I've done with the 100% wool felt look amazing.